This video is designed to talk you through the theory behind the drainage basin and highlight some of the terms and definitions that you will need to know for your GCSE course. The drainage basin is an area of land drained by a river and its tributaries. If we have a look at this simple diagram, the drainage basin is really concerned with what happens to precipitation in the form of rain, hail, sleet and snow as it falls onto the land and makes its way back to the sea. Therefore, the drainage basin is really concerned with this section of the diagram. I'm going to use this diagram of a leaf to represent the drainage basin and highlight some of the terms and definitions that you'll be required to know. The leaf represents uh, an area of land and the stems and small side stems that you can see on the leaf diagram or picture represent uh, river channels which drain this area of land. The first term that we're concerned with is represented by the red dot. That is the source of the river. The source is the starting point of a river and is usually in an area of high land. The main stem represents the main river channel that I have just highlighted. At the bottom of the diagram, this point represents the mouth of the river. The mouth of the river is the end point of a river, normally where the river enters a sea. There's more than one source uh, available on this diagram. The red dots highlight additional small sources for the side rivers. These side rivers drain the land and feed in to the main river channel. Again, there are more examples on it than I'm highlighting. These small side rivers are called tributaries, a small river that joins a main river. The exact point where a tributary joins a main river, highlighted in blue, represent the confluence. The exact point a tributary joins a main river. The edge of the leaf represents the watershed. The watershed is the dividing line between two drainage basins and is often an area of highland. If we have precipitation falling on this side of the watershed, it will drain into the main river channel and make its way out to the sea via the mouth of the river. If we have precipitation which falls on this side of the watershed, it will drain into additional river channels and make its way out to the sea via the mouth of a different river channel. Watershed, the boundary of a drainage basin, usually an area of highland. This diagram represents a typical diagram that you may come across in an exam. The blue area at the bottom of the diagram represents the sea. This label at the top of the diagram represents the source of the river. The source may be here or here, the starting point of a river. This could be the main river channel, as indicated by this label, main river channel. The main river channel enters the sea down here and is labelled as the mouth of a river. These two labels represent small rivers that join the main river channel. And of course, these are tributaries. The exact point where a tributary joins a main river channel is called the confluence and the dashed line running around the outside of the drainage basin represents the watershed. This red X represents the point that any rain or precipitation falling here will flow into another river basin. It's important to mention this term river basin as it can also be used and means exactly the same as drainage basin. 